Okay, my friends. So if you know me, you know I love Christmas. Um, but I also love Halloween. I, I much prefer Christmas to Halloween, but I much prefer Halloween to like fall decor. Like I'm not really like a pumpkin girly. I mean, I do like pumpkins, but like I like cutesy Halloween stuff. Um, so my goal right now is to do a bit of a clean, a quick clean, not a huge clean like I did before Christmas and to do some Halloween decorating. Um, I'm still sick, so I'm probably not gonna do too much, but just give this place a general once over so I feel good putting the Halloween decor up. Missy is begging to go out on the porch because I'm sitting right here. All right, let's 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 get started decorating slash cleaning. Here we go. So what was that, like 40 minutes, maybe, not even a full hour, and we did a good general clean of the main area of our home. The dogs are back inside, which means the dog fur is back. Um, it's okay, it's an endless cycle, like we clean, it gets nice and dog fur free, it's fine. This is the life of having two big dogs. All right, if you guys have been around long enough to know how much Christmas stuff we have, Prepare to be amazed. Halloween! And that's it. It's in this one box. It's not very much, but that's okay because I don't feel like doing that much. So let me show you what we got. This is all we have. And then a few things right there. We have very minimal Halloween stuff compared to Christmas things. But That's trick or treat Halloween. bowls, little doodad. <laughs> Instead of GI Ho, we have skeleton. What's his ho name gonna be? Uh, Mr. Boner. <laughs> Mr. Boner. Um, and then we have just this little guy here with the fall flowers and then our sign. And then we hung up our, oh, I didn't even see the spider. That's cute, Garrett. Okay, we went out of the apartment because Garrett said we have our trick or treat bowl. We have to <laughs> with candy. So one thing I feel like you have to have in the cold, like the fall seasons is candles. I don't really have candles that much in the summer. Hey friends, it's the next day and I am about to go frolic inside Target. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, I am going to have a good time. Currently, while I'm filming this, it is Target Circle Week. Um, so there are deals upon deals. I have planned, excruciatingly so, to get some things that we need um, for our house in order to get the spend 50 get 15 spend 25 get 5 and i have a personal uh coupon right now that's spend 60 get 10. so i have planned it out so hopefully my coupons and everything are going to work today um and of course it's target and like the weather right now okay the weather right now is like overcast cloudy sprinkling rain it's october last night we decorated for halloween i'm going into target to get deals with coupons like is this euphoric this is like becky to a t anyways okay <laughs> only sweaty becky all right so just like any other couponing experience for me stress breaking full. On Target Circle Week, I had three deals I was trying to accomplish in this transaction. Um, long story short, my first round, I did not complete all of them because apparently at Target, um, the way like CVS and Walgreens, you have to have the total before coupons. 
Um, Target requires you to have the total after coupon. So that is good to know for future Becky or future anyone who's watching this video. Let me, okay, so let me start with one category and focus on one category. Okay, so for the spend 50, get 15, that was the area that I um, messed up. Basically, I had too little um, in like dollar amount to qualify so I had to go back and get something. So <coughs> she suspended my transaction. I went back. I took a second. <coughs> Gosh, sorry. So I took a second. I found something that I could scan on Ibotta that qualified that I wanted to use. Anyways, I digress. Let me show you what I got for the spend 50 get 15 deal at Target. So something that we need more of always um, was this Jet Mop refills. I just get the Target brand because it's cheaper. And that was the first thing I grabbed. Um, I got two bags of the Finish Quantum. The Quantum was the most important. These were $11.99 a bag. Um, I had a coupon for a dollar off one of them. Um, so I got a, a dollar off one. I had a coupon on coupons.com for a dollar fifty off one of them. So take that off either. And on Ibotta, I had a dollar fifty back on both. Okay. And I got the CLR for our bathroom. I feel like our tub could really use it. Um, and it's just nice to have a powerful cleaner. And this one, I had a dollar back on Ibotta. And then this Persil laundry detergent, it is so cheap when you get the coupon for it. So it was $5.99 with a $3 off coupon in store. So I paid $2.99 for that guy. This huge container of, of dish soap is $7.99. I had a 75 cent coupon for it in store. And then I have a dollar back on Ibotta. Well, all that together equaled like $41-ish, okay? And I was going back and forth on which item to grab, like if I wanted to grab another one of these or if I wanted to grab laundry detergent. I ended up settling on this all, um, these all pods because we need laundry detergent a lot. Um, it was, you know, 20% off everything in the store and there is an, was an Ibotta that scanned with this one um, and I knew getting something that was like $12.99 was going to put me over that threshold with those coupons so I went ahead and grabbed it because I didn't want to get one that was like it was one if I got one that was $9.99 it was going to put me like $50.99 and I was nervous that somehow some way I wasn't going to qualify so and then we did buy 25 get Five. So I got these U by Kotex balance pads. These were $7.39 and there was a dollar fifty back on Ibotta for these guys specifically. So I grabbed those. I feel like this is probably silly, but the Dentec Kids floss uh was $2.99 with a dollar back on Ibotta. And I was like, I mean, who really cares? Because um like I know it's kids floss, but like, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's probably gonna be too small for my teeth now that I'm thinking about it, but let's see. I think it'll be fine. It's just floss and it was cheap. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that gets in there. Please excuse that flossing break. Um, kind of gross, but whatever. And then just some regular floss because my dentist told me that you need to use both. So I have started using both and there you go. Um, I have sensitive teeth and I've been trying to work on my gum health and that's something my dentist told me to do. So I have moved over to sensitive toothpaste, uh, like pro enamel toothpaste. This Sensodyne pro enamel toothpaste right here, I got two of them because they were 20% off. Plus um, I had a coupon.com coupon for, what was coupons.com? I wrote it down. So at coupons.com, I had $1.50 back on one of them. And on I bought it, I had $3 back on however many limit of five. So, and then I got something for my dad's stocking, which I'm excited about. 
So this I found in the store. It was 50% off plus the additional 20% off. That's for everything in the store. And if you've been following my vlogs, you know I've been trying really hard to find fun things for my parents' stockings because they do a stocking for everyone in our family. So this year, I really want wanted to prioritize making sure they had a stocking to open on our Christmas as a family. Um, and so I found this for $12.99 plus 20% off. So it comes, it has a smoky sweet seasoning. It has a hot sauce and it has like a spicy chipotle sauce grill thing. I thought this was a fun thing to add to my dad's stocking to make like bulk it up and make it look fun. And he loves spicy stuff. So I think he'll be very excited. 81.46 minus 12.99 is 68.47. And I got a $20 gift card. One was 15, one was five. I got a $10 gift card for spending over $60. And I got a $10 gift card in the store or $10 off coupon in the store for purchasing uh, stuff on Target Week. The lady just gave me a little thing. I scanned it, whatever. Um, on Ibotta, I got $15.50 back today. And on coupons.com, I got $3 back on all the items that I got today. So in total, um, if you're like counting like out of pocket for the things that were essentials, not the Christmas gift, I spent $9.97. And even if you don't count it that way, we have $40 pretty much sitting in our Target account that we can use to buy things later. So we're doing a movie day later in the month of October, which I'll probably use it for because that's like a fun thing. I'm super excited. I feel good about it. It was a smidge bit stressful because all couponing tends to be that way for me. I usually get up to the register and have social anxiety, but it's okay because we figured it out and the lady was super nice and she helped me and we got our coupons to work. So, Hello, my friends. So it's the next day. Garrett and I just got home from going to the flower farm again. I absolutely love going to that place. It brings me so much joy. This weekend, they what well, in October, they have started doing um, like a fall festival, but you can still just pay to go and get your flowers. Um, instead of having to pay admissions to the fall festival. So we went and we picked some flowers. They were quite overpicked because obviously a fall festival is going on. So there's a lot more people there than there was last time. And I am, we're home now. I'm actually about to whip up some dinner, which is why we're in the kitchen because we're both very hungry. And then after I finish, we finish dinner, I'm gonna sit down with you guys and arrange my flowers because I'm so excited. But first we gotta eat. I am going to be making one of my favorite dinners. It is one of the quickest, easiest, and cheapest dinners to make. I don't really have a name for it. It's just kind of like a stir fry situation. All right, here is everything that I would suggest that you use in this section. Green beans, so good. I have this onion I need to use. Like, look how sad that is. Soy sauce and brown sugar for sure. Worcestershire sauce and the red pepper adds so much. I have this poke sauce, which adds like a good like um, takeout flavor. And we definitely, we're both talking about how we would love to have some takeout tonight. So I'm gonna put throw a little bit of that in there. And I just have ground turkey thawed out. So that's what we're gonna use. All right, we got some oil. I'm gonna throw my onions with my oil here. I just kind of gave them a nice chop. And we're also gonna add our ground turkey right in here. All right, as the meat is cooking, we're gonna season it. So we're gonna do salt and pepper. I'm gonna do some garlic and onion powder. And of course, some crushed red peppers. We'll add more, we just wanna season every layer. All right, so now we got our meat done pretty well. I'm gonna add in our green beans. Maybe like two big tablespoons of brown sugar. You don't wanna to do too much brown sugar because that can be not very good. And then you're gonna pour in the soy sauce. 
just gonna use the rest of that bottle. Some Worcestershire sauce. Poke sauce because yummo. It smells super good. This is like very like cookout-esque here. I'm just gonna use the last of it. There we go. There's not much left in there. Obviously, if you don't have the poke sauce, don't worry about that. And then we're gonna do more crushed red peppers. And then we're just gonna let this sauce thicken up and everything combined. If you want it to be like fancy and um, mix the sauce before you went on the stove, that would work too. All right, so our water is fully boiling. I'm going to add the Thai noodles and you're just gonna cook it for like six minutes, just like that. All right, I have my drained and rinsed pasta noodles. I like adding them straight to the sauce because I feel like it soaks up the sauce. And that is dinner. Yummy, dinner ready in less than 30 minutes. So good. Okay. So I just finished putting together those arrangements. Check out Malcolm. I'm watching the Murdoch murder thing. But before that, I was watching the Great British Baking Championship. You know, you gotta have balance. Let me show you my little bouquets. They're so great. Oh my gosh. All right, here's a quick overview. Larger bouquet. A lot of the flowers were picked over. They told us that a lot of people came yesterday. Um, so we got what we could so cute and then we have our medium sized bouquet this is like all the reject flowers so it like kind of fell apart but i'm keeping them because they're sweet and cute okay that's the flowers you can kind of tell they're starting to wilt but the two main ones like are you kidding me right now like that is beautiful put them all i put one right here of course with our table. I love having flowers on our table, plus our little spooky Halloween decor in with it too. It's really cute. And then I put the small one on our mantle and I took out the other one of the sunflowers and kind of pushed everything to the front. I think it's sweet. And then the medium one right here. And I think I am gonna go ahead and end this video here. It's getting pretty lengthy. So I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you are still here, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite kind of flower is. I would love to know. Mine is a chrysanthemum. They're one of those little daisies. Little, they're called like chamomiles, chamomiles, chamomiles. Really like mums, like the cute little mums. I'll have to pop up some photos. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.